I mean, like, it's a lot to talk about with Pimpin. What, what you mean? I'm gonna tell Shavin you watching low battery TV. Hey. Well, shit, I'll talk about it. So, like, so it was like January, or nah, it was like November of before the COVID. So it was like November before the COVID. I'm down bad, like a motherfucker. And like, these hoes, I meet these hoes and shit, it's like two hoes. And so like, I start pimping these hoes and shit. So once I start pimping all these hoes, we mean, I mean, they friends and like they friends, I start pimping them and shit. So then like, I get an apartment. I got like me and like, it was like, well at first I had got an apartment with my homie. And then like, we was on there for a month. The lease got violated or some shit because I had all these hoes in there, basically. <laughs> and then <laughs> we had to go do another place. So I get my own shit. I had like four or five hoes just sleeping on the floor. But them hoes swear they was having the time of their life. I swear to God. <laughs> and like, we just in that hoe. Bitches got, I had like two rooms in that bitch. And like, one of them was a cam room. That hoe was live. It just had like a lighting in that bitch and all types of shit going on. Bitches just get going in there, fucking each other and shit. I probably done got like, I ain't gonna lie, my dick sucked on like 12 OnlyFans accounts or something dry like that. <laughs> For real. And like, I ain't never had no bitch have to go walk. Like, I go to the club, cause at the strip club, it'd be like, a dude come drop like 500 on a bitch. And then, Go to VIP, take the bitch to VIP. The bitch gonna, like, a stupid bitch gonna fuck. Like, off the 500, he already dropped on the bitch. Like, that's what these dumbass bitches be doing. They fuck these dudes off of the money they threw while they was dancing. But see, you gotta tell the bitch, like, you get your bread there, go upstairs, get some more bread when you get to fucking the bitch. But all of that, you know, like, that's, that's why bitches really need a pimp in their life. And, you know, get that business on point. For real. Because the whole time I just seemed like... It was like one bitch I was pimping. This hoe was... She just was working backwards. That hoe was dumb as hell. I don't know. But, like, two weeks into that hoe, she started making, like, 1300 a night. That's how I started fucking with that hoe. So that's what I'm saying. That, I could have really just, like, had hoes... Like, really, right now, I'm trying to do some legal shit. I'm trying to... I got already done submitting my DBA, LLC, all that. I'm going to have my own nanny business. I'm trying to tell you shit real. Y'all going to be mad when I got the big P nanny service, okay? That's really actually coming to life. I already started that shit. That's going to be in Dallas, by the way. If you need big P nanny service, you know what I'm saying? It's like 30 hours. If you got a kid, and, you know, I got CPR certified women on my team, you know what I'm saying? All of that, they, you know, teachers and such. You can do 45 hours, all, you know what I'm saying? It's really whatever. I mean, whatever you need, I got it. But, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. From the pimping, now I'm finna have the nanny business. That's really how I went through that shit, just like that. It's really just almost some of the same business. <laughs>